What's up YouTube? Awesome Yuga here and today we're here with a deck profile on Monarchs and I absolutely love this deck. Uh, now I'm going to be completely honest with you, I didn't really know what this new Monarchs card did uh, at the time I ordered the, the structure decks. Um, but in between those time, because I had to wait like a week or a week and a half to actually receive those, uh, those structure decks, I decided to just uh, look into what the Monarch Darks actually does and how it works now. Because of course, uh, I've been familiar with Monarchs up until 2014, you know, with the Treeborn Frog and the Dragodeath and stuff. Um, but this is something completely different, and it, it is. I like it. I really, really like it. Uh, it, it. Just when reading these cards, and I know Power Creep is a thing, but just when reading these cards, I was like, damn, this is stupid. This, this stuff is really, really, really good. Um, so yeah, here's the deck profile, didn't have to proxy anything, of course there is no extra deck, so we will be doing a side deck, uh, which I still had all the cards for as well, which is great, so I only had to pick up the three structure decks to be actually be able to do this profile, uh, so like I said, no extra deck, so we will be profiling a side deck as well for this uh, video, especially for this, um, but yeah, without further ado, let's get into the deck profile, so you have your triple ether and your triple herbos, now this is extremely standard, um, but these cards are just so damn good. Um, so, yeah, you're going to run uh, all of these. Um, then, for the Mega guys, we have the one Caius and the one Testosterolos. Uh, now, I've actually seen... Uh, I've actually been seeing people only running one of the Megas, and then either or. Um, I feel like you should definitely be playing both of these uh, staple, and I, I do believe I've seen some uh, profiles uh, I'm actually profiling this like a couple of days before it goes up, of course, but I've actually seen like the last profile I did see of some sort of regional uh, people actually started to playing both of these, which I feel like definitely is the way to go. Because um, both of them has uses, like Tesla's is a bit better when you uh, have to go first, for example. Um, but just the synergy they, these guys still have with like the spell and traps and just the... Um, the disruptive, disruptive plays these guys can um, do for your opponent, just uh, they're great cards. Now I only have one of the level 6's I'm using and that's one Curse. That's all of the level 6 monarchs we use right now. Uh, I feel like Curse is definitely the best one. And um, I mean, he even he is iffy because uh, what he does is uh, when he's normal or special summoned, uh, you can destroy up to two cards on the field. But your opponent draws, or at least the the cards that get destroyed, um, the controller draws a card. So this can be kind of bad as well in some matchups, uh, especially against like those pendulum decks. Um, when you're disrupting them and breaking skills and stuff, giving them draws can actually be kind of uh, disfortunate for you, because they can actually draw into stuff that can revamp their plays. Um, so it, it's a sword that cuts on both ends, but uh, definitely Caius is the one, or Caius, uh, sorry, Caius is the one I like the most. So now for the little guys, you have uh, three, triple of the uh, Idea, or Ide, a, I'm not sure. Three of the light, uh, two, of the, uh, two of the darks. Um, he gets the dark out of your deck, so I really feel like there's no reason to go uh, Triple dark. Uh, I definitely feel like five of these in three and two is definitely the ratio, ratio to go with. Then we have double Majesty's Fiend. Uh, I'm running this in the main deck over Vanity's Fiend because this is just uh, better against Cosmo and this is actually searchable. Uh, Vanity Fiend isn't. So I, I yeah, I, I definitely like Majesty's Fiend in the main deck over Vanity's Fiend. But I am citing Vanity's Fiend, which you'll see in a second. Because Vanity's Fiend is just, uh, it, can, it can be a lot better against some of the uh, Pendulum decks. And Vanity's Fiend has its use against, for example, Cosmo as well. Uh, so don't get me wrong on that. Now for the hand traps, triple, <laughs> triple Maxi, double Valor, one Gortz. Um, Valor is really good in the mirror match. Uh, you could go triple Valor and just skip the Gortz, but I, I need something to draw into with Maxi. Um, in a, uh, a format in this where you just have a couple of decks that can OTK really easily, um, I, I feel like you need something like a Gorse. And um, Gorse actually, <laughs> this has actually been a staple in Monarch since like Gorse came out. 
So um, yeah, why not? Why not run Gors? Gors is a, is a badass. Gors is a cool card. So that's it for the monsters. Uh, for the spells, I believe that adds up to 21 monsters. For the spells, which leaves 16 spells, because I do run uh, trap uh, three times. Spoiler alert. Um, Pantheism, it's called, right? Pan yeah, Pantheism. Pantheism. The Destiny draws for Monarchs. This card is great. I love this card. Uh, then the Triple Tenacity. These, all these spells are, are fucking good. Just, just putting that out there. All these spells are amazing. The, uh, the Searcher of the deck for your spells and traps. Uh, great card. Deck thinning. Um, this deck. Even though this deck can actually break quite a bit, since you can get like awkward hands, uh, like with 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 five of these or something like that, you can get really awkward hands. Um, if you have some spells, some traps, and I mean, I'm only always uh, I'm all, I'm almost running 50/50 in spells and trap uh, count, RS spells and and monster counts. So you should have like three monsters, two spells, and when you get something like that. Um, this deck can be really, really consistent. You can actually have quite a bit of searchability in this deck. Um, field spell tri three times. Um, the Monarch Stormforth three times. And just this, having this consistency, all of these cards, you have them three times, and then um, you can actually search anything, any missing piece out with the tenacity. Uh, when you have one of the monsters, uh, one of the Monarch monsters, you can search. Uh, you can use tenacity to search something out. Uh, this, add, this gives you some good consistency. Uh, then the one-offs, we have the one Return of the Monarchs and the one March of the uh, Monarchs. Uh, once again, you can search these out. These are continuous spells, so you don't need to run any more of these, obviously. And then the one Reinforcements. Uh, that's the spells, so that's, I believe, 16. And then you have your uh, uh, Triple Prime. I've seen people running two of this, but I, I was just reading this card. And this card, this card is dumb. This card is is really good. Um, I couldn't find myself to play just two, cause I I don't feel like there is a uh, a hand I would come up with, especially young first, in which I did not want to have this in my hand. So I I just decided to go with three, and that that's forty cards. And I I really feel like this, uh, as I made this this monarch deck, it's it's just. Uh, I mean, granting the Gorts, you might want to replace the Gorts with like the third failure or something. Um, but there's definitely a, a way to go, a good way to go, maybe even the best way to go. It's, 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 I feel like it's really solid. Let's just put it in the dust. Now for the side deck, we have Double Valking. Um, honestly, this card is, is so good in Mirror Match, you might actually want to consider running a third, because I feel like all the Mornix play are, uh, are playing Dark Hole and Regeki as well, which would get rid of this, so it's 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 cool if you just put down another one as well. Uh, double Vanity Fiend, uh, double Lancia. Um, I'm kind of iffy on this, but um, Cosmo is a thing. Uh, you do have quite a bit of cards that are good against Cosmo, uh, but this would help. And uh, this also helps against, for example, Infernoids, uh, which might be a deck. I'm not sure on, on Infernoids, but Infernoids might be a deck. So Lancia would hit that as well. So you you have that versatility in a card like Lancia, but I'm not 100% sure on Lancia. Uh, Triple Twin Twister, um, good card, <laughs> since it, the, this card is really good. Uh, the Reggae Can, the Dark Hole, I'm playing that uh, as well, of course, because I don't want to be fucking myself. Uh, Double Chalice, uh, mostly for the mirror match. Access some more failures. And one warning for uh, some pesky Pendulum decks. Uh, and a warning is definitely the best trap to run as a one-off in Monarchs. So yeah, that's the deck. In the comments section down below, let me know what you think of this de uh, of this deck. I absolutely love it. I, r I really do. I really like this deck. Um, so yeah, in the, comments section, in the comments section down below, let me know what you think of this deck. Uh, how you like it. How you think this deck will fare in the future. Um, can this deck con uh, consistently be a... Uh, top three deck for, uh, let's say, until nationals uh, next next season, like uh, June, July, or even for, uh, uh, for worlds maybe. This, yeah, yeah, uh, the OCG has this as well. Yeah, they definitely have this as well. They even have some more support, I believe. Um, so yeah, for now, thank you guys for watching. Um, I do want to qu uh, give a quick shout out. I'm not going to be doing this in all my videos, but I do want to do it right now to the Petty Place friend of mine who started a YouTube channel. Uh, I am featured in some of his uh, or in some of his videos, all of his dead rump videos for now at least. 
Um, I'm going by Reaper of Faith uh, in those videos. And uh, go check it out if you like to watch some fun Dead Realm videos. And it also does a Just Cause playthrough, um, which I'm personally not a fan of because I don't like Just Cause. But <laughs> uh, I mean, he does quite a good job with it. Um, he actually dies, which is it's, it's something. It's quite something in Just Cause to die. It's, it's, it's kind of hard to do. So um, yeah, if you like that sort of stuff, go, go check him out. I'll put a link to that in the description down below. Uh, maybe in an annotation on the end of this video where we are at now. For now, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time, which will be a Mermel deck profile. So uh, be on the lookout for that. Also, no proxies. Yeah. Bye.